It's been a really big few months. I travelled to Germany and raced the first World Cup against my friend Joe, who I paddled K2 with for the last few seasons. And we raced off in different events, but I raced the 500 metre, she raced the 200 metre, and whichever was the better result got the one and only spot left. So Joe raced on the Friday and the Saturday, and I knew that she'd made the C final for Saturday which placed her, the best she could place would be 21st. It was very stressful. Um, the fields in both the 500 metre and the 200 were hot. It was, the Olympic champions were there, the world champions were there. Everyone was there. It's Euro European qualifying for the Olympics as well. So it was very intense uh, experience for both of us. And I raced in the 500 heats on Saturday afternoon. There was four semi-finals. Top two in each semi-final made the A-final for the following day, plus the third fastest time from each of those four. I was the third fastest time. So I finished third in my semi-final behind two really good competitors, girls that are absolutely flying. And um, I was, I'm really happy with how I raced in the semi. I raced hard, I raced my race tactically really well. I started quite well, finished strong. You know, ticked all the boxes for me personally as an athlete and uh, I was in the first semi-final. I finished third. Okay, so I'm the fastest third to start with. Watch the second one, you're still the fastest third. Watch the third semi-final come through, yep, you're still fastest third. And I was like, oh my God, I'm, yeah, one more semi to go. Ended up being, just getting this girl by, you know, 0.5, yeah, half a second at most. And uh, you're in the A final for Sunday and I was, to make the B final would have been a great effort, but to make the A final top nine at a world-class event as the first World Cup of the season where everyone's at, it was, um, yeah, it was, it was awesome. The relief that I felt once I'd raced my semi-final and yes, you have got the third fastest time. So yes, you're, you're into the A final, you're the slowest qualifier into the A final, but yeah, you're in the A final and off the back of that, then Australian canoeing, nominate me through the Australian Olympic Committee and knowing that I'd secured the spot but it wasn't handed to me yet I still had to race on Sunday and finish and and be awarded the place so yeah a roller coaster of emotions um, I was physically and mentally cooked I had nothing left by the time I raced in the final on Sunday morning it was like I was in third gear I just couldn't actually do anything I was paddling at maybe 80% watching the race unfold in front of me. Everyone that raced in Duisburg, that first World Cup, everyone in that A final will be in Rio racing K1. So it gives me good confidence that I am in the mix. For me to be in that sort of field is, is really exciting. It's pretty inspiring and I'm definitely trying to take that next step and I'll be traveling to Spain to train with uh, Lisa Carrington, the current Olympic champion, uh, Spella from Slovenia and Martina from Slovakia who were all A finalists. Four of us trained here on the Gold Coast earlier this year together and I think we got great benefits from that. Yeah, I received this fan line card I did via email. Thank you everybody, it was really nice. It's good to have uh, so many people supporting me from afar and um, I hope my journey is exciting for you as, it's, as it is exciting for me. And like I say, I'm relieved. It's, um, it's been re a really crazy few months um, being the last member to make the team. It's, um, it was really hard watching everyone else be accepted into the team and they go and do all the events and, and I'm still working way towards the first World Cup to get the spot. So, you know, enjoying those kind of things and I think that's made me a better athlete for it and uh, focusing in on myself and made me, yeah, just sort of t take it to the next level hopefully. I'm really happy where I'm at at the moment. My training's going really well. I feel injury free uh, and I'm really excited about getting out of the cold weather and getting into some warm training environments over in Europe.